Can you hold this up here? On a cold December day, Robin Metcalf and other citizen scientists assemble a device on the sand. This beach profiler, made of curtain rods, wing nuts, and a pocket level, is measuring the erosion at this beach. We know over time how the beach, how it changes with the seasons and and how it changes over time uh, with climate change. This monitoring work is part of a citizen science project that aims to fill data gaps on the eastern shore. Citizen scientists are making monthly measurements of four beaches in the area. Metcalf and others are also using automated weather stations and rain gauges to generate data on conditions at their homes. It can be monitored in real time anywhere. Anyone who has an internet connection in the world can see what the, the weather is on where at, at my where my house is. The project started this past year with support from the Anglican Church. Reverend Marion Lucas Jeffries, coordinator of the Diocesan Environmental Network, says the focus on citizen science made it the right fit for the network. One of the things about citizen science is that people learn. And I've learned a lot from this project. People learn how to uh, how to how to take action in times of climate change. It, it, it's empowering, and it builds community amongst people. For the next three years, it'll be part of a larger research project led by Dalhousie University. Lead researcher Camilla Botero says the coastal monitoring network means members of the community are directly involved in observing what's happening with climate change. Now we have four coastal uh, climate teams. Uh, they are not big, there are not many people, but they are the right people, you know, is that the, the volunteers now, the coastal scientists, they are really engaged in their mission. They understand well, why they are doing that and why it's important for them. Patero says this not only provides information, it also helps communities in a data-poor part of the province make decisions about how to manage climate risks. The idea of the project is that First, the the local communities, they will have this information so they can decide when and where to protect in the best way. Back at the Causeway Beach, Robin Metcalf agrees. It's engaging the community and we're informed and we're part of the process of forming the picture of what's happening. Um, And by the same um, uh, token, we should be part of the process of deciding what needs to be done. Moira Donovan, CBC News, Sheet Harbour.